In this video, we'll find the number of protons and electrons for Cu plus and Cu2 plus. This is the copper one ion, and this is the copper two ion. So when we look at this, it's probably best to figure out the protons and electrons for neutral copper. We know it's neutral because there's no negative or positive sign after it. In fact, on the periodic table, all of the elements, they're neutral. So we know that we have neutral copper here, and we know that the atomic number here on the periodic table that equals the number of protons. So we have an atomic number of 29 for copper, and that means it has 29 protons. And with ions, the only thing that changes, that's the number of electrons. So the protons, the atomic number, it doesn't change. Copper is always going to be 29, whether it's neutral or an ion. So we have an atomic number of 29, and the protons will be 29 as well for copper and its ions. The electrons, though, that we need to look at. In a neutral atom here, a neutral element, the number of protons, that'll equal the number of electrons. So here we have its neutral, copper neutral, protons equals electrons, 29. When we have an ion, if we have a positive charge, you can assume there's a one written here. They don't write it, but it's there. When we have the positive charge, this means we've lost one electron. Think of it this way. When you lose an electron, it's negative. If you lose a negative charge, you're more positive. So instead of 29, we have 28 electrons. For copper 2, the copper 2 ion, we've lost 2. So instead of 29, we have 27. It's important to understand that when an atom loses an electron, a negative charge, it becomes positive. The atom that receives that electron, it gets the negative charge, it becomes a negative ion. If you need help finding the number of neutrons for the different isotopes of copper, there's a link in the description of this video to help you with that. This is Dr. B with the number of protons and electrons for Cu plus and Cu2 plus. Thanks for watching.